Alrighty guys, welcome back to my second video. So today I have quite an exciting video. As you can see, I do have my hair up. Um, I did go and get a new camera, so we're just gonna see how well this thing records. Um, I'm not too, too certain on it, so we're just gonna go ahead and see how it does, okay? All right, so the the stuff that I'm going to be testing out, like you saw in my first video, I am just going to be using the L'Oreal Pro Pro Glow Foundation. It is right here. I'm just going to be using the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl primer. And then I am going to be using the Too Faced Hangover RX. I'm going to be using the Morphe Setting Spray. I'm going to be using the Morphe brushes. I'm going to be using the Hydra Perfect by L'Oreal as well. So I'm going to be using all of the same stuff, basically. The only thing is, I am going to be using one new product. And this is something that I went into Walmart today and I was just like, you know what? I'm just kind of looking for something interesting. And this was there. I don't think you guys understand just how, like I was blown away. This is really beautiful. I love how it just has that one blue that stands out. Also, the other night whenever I went to Walmart, what I looked at and what I found was Hard Candy. The brand Hard Candy. I've seen them in there before. I just never really like picked up anything of theirs, but I saw this eyeliner. Bro, it looks amazing. So I am going to be trying to do a makeup look using those. Um, also, I am going to be using the uh, concealer by Ulta Beauty. There we go. I already love this camera a lot better than my phone, so this is going to be a great video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I am going to do the moisturizer. If you hear little chewing sounds, it is Luna. Just chewing away. Now I'm gonna go in with my primer. I just squirted a buttload into my hand. That is going to take five ever to spread around. I'm running low on my cover girl, so I am probably gonna go be buying some more of that soon. <laughs> I just really need to stay away from Walmart, guys. Like, I go in there every freaking day, almost. Like, because I get out of work at 9.30, and then I'm in Walmart. So, this is going, this is my life. I'm a Walmart chick. Also, I want to, I want to do stuff that you guys can actually afford. Morphe is a really good makeup brand. A lot of people don't know this about Morphe, but Morphe sells really cheap brush kits. Like, I got all the brushes that I currently have. I got them in sets of seven for like $20. So seven, wait no, 20 divided by seven, that's like $3 a brush, that's not bad. So I would really recommend buying those uh, packets. They've got a face, they've got a face bag, and then they've got a uh, eye makeup bag. And I got both of those, 20 bucks, 40 bucks all together, about $3 a brush. So if you're looking to just like start up your kit and stuff like that, I would really recommend going into Ulta, going to the Morphe section and just getting those bags because literally they will, I mean, the only downside is the brushes don't have numbers on them, but I mean, unless you're gonna be doing something like this, <laughs> you don't really need the numbers on there. You do, however, I would recommend like keeping the, the package that goes around it. It's like a little cardboard thing. So just in case that you need that brush again, you know what it's called. It does not have the number on the package, but it does have the name of what it's called. So you can like go in and like choose it from the numerous brushes that they have there. Okay. Okay, so now that my primer is done, I am going to apply my foundation. Remember guys, you want to shake this shit up. If you do not shake it up, it will separate on you and you will end up looking like a really splotchety m person. So remember, if you wanna be like a solid person, not a stained glass person, mosaic, then you're gonna need this. I did have quite a bit more caffeine today than I did yesterday, so um, if I am talking really fast, I am not sorry. I was trying to stay away from Dr. Pepper for a while and I should not do that, I really should not. 
guys, I tried to film this morning and it just did not go my way, okay? It was just freaking horrible. Like, first of all, my phone did not have enough storage. Then I couldn't get it to focus on me. Then this, then that. I even had trouble, like, uploading it to YouTube, the, the last video that I filmed. So, this, is, this has been a fun, fun time for me, so. Okay, now that I have, like, tapped out, <laughs> I'm gonna tap out my eyes again. Might as well just spoon them out. Gouge them out with a spoon. Right, Luna? Glad we're on the same page. She's just, like, running all over the place here. Like I said, be careful with the little balls. This morning, whenever I did my makeup, I got one of these little balls in my eye. Again. Alrighty, guys. So, now that I have my powder finished, you guys already know, I like to go in with the fluffy brush. And I like to... The M527. And I like to just smear it all around my face. Get all that excess powder off. You don't want to look like you just snorted a bunch of powdery stuff, or you don't want to look like you just put a bunch of icing on your face and hoped for the best, because I have done that before and it doesn't work, okay? You don't want to leave the foundation on. It'll, like, without dusting it off, like, this, the foundation, like, I don't know, the setting powder, I mean, like, will clump up into the little balls that you see in the freaking, like, tub. And I also like this one because it doesn't add more pigment. Because whenever I was using, I used to use CoverGirl setting powder. Cover CoverGirl setting powder was like, oh my god. But the only problem with that is that the CoverGirl setting powder that I used, it had pigment in it. So whenever you added pigment on top of pigment, it gave you like an orange color. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am pale. And I can't pull off orange. Ever but it'll be okay. All right, so now I'm going in with my bronzer. Gonna get real bronze. I don't really like to contour. I just like to make my, I just like to look sun-kissed because I don't know, I don't like a harsh contour. I don't, I don't like to look like super chiseled out or anything. I definitely used to. Oh, I used to. But now I'm just like, I don't want to have those little lines on my face because it looks really great on camera. The contour does. But then whenever you see the people in public, they've got like these harsh lines everywhere and you're just like, did you have fun with that brown crayon? Because it looked like you had fun with a brown crayon. Okay. So, now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and set it right before, set everything down right before I put on my highlighter, just so the highlighter has something to stick to, and I'm also going to spray my brush with the highlight, with the setting spray as well. So, I'm just going to set myself real quick, get my fan so I'm not reaching around blindly. This spray smells so good, you guys. You guys have no idea. If you haven't tried the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, message me and I will send you like a puff of it in the mail. It smells so stinking good. Like it just smells clean, it smells fresh, it feels fresh on your skin, like it's just oh, heaven in a bottle. Heaven in a bottle, guys. I forgot how to edit yesterday. <laughs> I actually think I did a decent job, so that was pretty cool. I was really proud of myself yesterday. I spent like a good four hours editing, and I was just like, "Hey, check me out!" I was, I was, I was pretty proud of myself. So, like I said, I wet my brush. I'm gonna go in today. I'm gonna go in with the shade on my Aurora Anastasia Beverly Hills palette again. Oh, I love the packaging. Okay. I'm gonna go in with the Orion shade. It's blue, I'm aware. It's gonna make me look bruised, I'm aware. Just because it has blue pigment though. But, I like it because the look that I'm going to do is gonna have some blue in it, so I want some blue highlight. Goodness gracious. Ooh. Oof. Do you guys, can you see that? Okay, let me put on this one. 
Can you see that? Is it as shiny as I would like? You're darn tootin' it is. Darn tootin'. Alright, now the other side. This is really good highlighter. It's almost as good as the Revolution Strobe Highlighter. If you guys have not tried that Revolution Strobe, oh, it's like a duochrome highlighter. I'll use it in my next video. I'm gonna make a little note, mental note, to use it in my next video because, whew, honey, if you have not used that highlighter, you have not used highlighter at all. You might as well just like go back into the caves. The next thing that I am going to do is I am going to get started with my eyebrows. <laughs> Today I am using the Total Temptation by Maybelline. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I love this camera. Okay. So, I always, I was going to do it off screen, but I'm going to do it on screen because last video I didn't do it on screen and I really feel like I deserve to give you guys a show of how I do my eyebrows. The way I do it first is I like to like brush it all and I like to, these middle hairs, I like to brush up and then go over it. Like it goes up and back, up and over, okay? So I like to do that to both sides. I'm going to try to stay where you guys can see me. Oh, I got some of my own hair in my... This is what happens whenever you don't put a headband on. Just like that. Then I like to go under I like to go under it with the freaking pencil. Oh. Oh, thank God. I thought that was one of my eyebrow hairs. I thought it was like located right here. I was just like oh. Okay. All right. So, I go under it with just like a a sliver, just a tiny little line. Go under it and then I like to leave this part just with the under, just the underline because I go in back with the brush and I brush it up. That way it still looks like hair but it's not thick because in the front of your brow you do not have that thick of hair. So you do not need a thick freaking line on this part of your eyebrow. And then I kind of go on top first so I can follow the arch that I want and then I go underneath as well. If you want, if you need help shaping your eyebrow, I tweeze my eyebrow, I tweeze the ends off um, just so I can create the tail that I want because my, my eyebrows are kind of like thick at the end, they just kind of grow wherever they want to. Um, so I trimmed off the tail that way I can make my own. But the way you make it is you take your pencil right here, line it up, that's where your eyebrow should end. You can barely even tell that mine is there. But that's where your eyebrow should end right there. Then if you are looking straight and you line up your uh, pencil with your, your pupil there, then at the end on your eyebrow is where your arch should be. That's where my arch starts. Then right here, if you have your pencil straight up and down, that's where your eyebrows should start, right here. I see a ton of people, <laughs> here's where it is. I see a ton of people where their eyebrow starts out here or their eyebrow starts right here. No, it's with your no the edge of your nostril here, okay? So just boom, 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 that simple. Okay, so now is the part where I go in and shade everything. There, I have one eyebrow done. So you can see that it still follows the same general shape as this eyebrow. But remember, eyebrows 
aren't twins, they're sisters. So if they do look slightly different, good. It's a more natural look. I'm gonna go do my other eyebrow off camera, that way we can go ahead and speed up this process because I'm sure you guys just wanna see me use this palette. By the way, this palette legit was like $7.95. $7.95 for like a super cute eyeshadow palette. So we're gonna see how well it performs for $7.95. Walmart, I see you. Rimmel London, I see you. Let's hope I don't mess this up for you guys. I'm so sorry if I do. Okay guys, so now I have both eyebrows done. Sorry if I keep moving around on you guys or anything like that. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to charge my camera, but it's just uh, not working, it's fine. Um, so. Now that I have both eyebrows done, I am going to start on this. Super exciting. Okay. Oh. Okay. I see a Rimmel. It came with like a little brush. A brushy brush. I don't... It's actually not that bad of a brush. But I don't think I'm going to use it today just because I want to make a good impression. Maybe I'll just test it out before and then I'll, you know, come on. This isn't a first impressions video, guys. This is just me ch trying out stuff, okay? Alright, so I cleaned my nasty brush. Super exciting. See, see, I cleaned it. So, first shade that I am going to go in with is I'm going to go in with this shade here. It's, oh, I almost dropped it. Um, I, I'm not sure what shade. It doesn't have a name shade, so we're just going to go in. Oh. know how much I like that. Why is it? Oh. Mm. It didn't set properly. Let's see if I have any setting powder left. Oh, that's infuriating. That is beyond infuriating. Like it it didn't set right, so now I have the little creases. Do you see? Do you see? I hate the creases. Okay, so we are just gonna go in with this shade here. Okay, so I've got like the base shade going, so I'm just gonna add a little bit under my under eye, because <laughs> you guys know how I like to do that, eh? So. Just a little bit can go a long way. Hopefully, with the luck this eye has been having, hopefully I don't get any powder in my eye. If you guys hear howling, my dogs are howling because there's a siren. What the heck? Okay. There we go, hey. Doesn't look too bad, Rimmel. Okay. It does have a lot of uh, kickback, which is whenever you like go like that, the powder is so loosely packed in there that it, it it's taking a ton off. Like it comes onto the brush, but then I don't know if you guys can see all the powder flying off. But whenever I was dipping into it right now, the powder actually was staying there, staying on the palette and it was like really clumpy. So it does have quite a bit of kickback. I, I'm not getting a whole lot of like um, kickback on my face, but we'll see how that goes. The next shade I'm gonna go into is this like really pretty like reddish clay color. I'm not sure if you guys know the palette uh, by BH Cosmetics. It's the Santa Fe palette. This looks very similar colors to that palette. And that palette is like a $24 palette. So we'll see. I wonder if I should like do a comparison video. Ooh. Do you see how pigmented that is? Okay, Rimmel London, we we get it, we get it. You know what? I might just go back to Walmart and get another palette and give this to my sister because this is freaking great. Callie's gonna love this. Oh. Guys, guys, it is stinking beautiful. Look at that. Do you see? Guys, that is so freaking pigmented for a dollar store $7.95 palette. That is freaking beautiful. If you do not agree with me, it's because you're a snob. 
and you think that expensive makeup is the only way to go. But yeah, the $7.95 makeup was hella awesome. Or if you don't agree with me, you know that I'm doing this completely wrong and I'm definitely not a makeup artist and you might say that it's a little bit patchy or something like that or oh it won't wear that well or blah 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 but hey first impression this is pretty freaking good so okay all right well hey that is pretty freaking good I look like I'm having like a what is it like a is this Shakespeare moment like where he's like looking in the mirror and he's like Is that the Shakespeare moment? I don't know. Also, I have like a weird dot on my nose right now. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. It's like a weird, I don't know what it is. I don't, I really don't. I wish I did, that would be so cool. If, if you know what that is, please tell me. Oh, do you see that? No, how about now? Now I'm gonna put a little bit under my eye. Hey, that's a lot better than it was yesterday. Yesterday I like put a ton underneath my eye and I was just like, oh, like it was like down here. I was just like, um, um, so. That's so freaking good, guys. You have no idea. Do you see this? It is so freaking pigmented and beautiful. Okay guys, so I finished touching up my eyes. So now I am going to kind of dust off my brush here. I don't have one of those fancy brush cleanser and cleaners where you just like ch -ch -ch and they're clean. I don't. Um, so I just flick my brush. Gets most of it off. Or I just go like this and kind of hope that the color comes off on my hand. Just like this. Oh, and it actually works. Okay. Now is my favorite part. I am going to go in just like right here and maybe here. No, I am going to cover this with concealer, kind of cut my crease, and I'm going to go in with that pretty turquoise shade. All right, I am going to cut my crease, and then I will be right back, guys. Okay guys, so whenever I tell you that I struggle with cut creases, please believe me, because in case you cannot tell, I struggled just a little, just a little. Uh. So now that I have finished my cut crease, I'm going to just put it on with my finger. Oh, do you see that? That is so pretty and pigmented. I can tell you that I am having a little bit of fallout on my actual eye, but not too, too bad. Without eyeliner on yet, it looks freaking creepy. But I promise it will get better, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then I'll be back. So here it is with the finished, uh, with the finished blue on. So I think I am going to take one of my brushes as well and I'm gonna put a little bit of blue underneath um, my eye. Okay, here we go. Not too, too horrible. Here we go, the other one. There we go. So, see, not too, too bad. Um, I am telling you in person, it looks really freaking weird. I'm not quite sure how it looks on camera just yet. Um, I can't really see that that well, but now that we are finished with that, I am going to go in with some eyeliner, which I have right here. This is the Hard Candy Eyeliner in the shade Deep Sea, ooh, Deep Sea. So I'm gonna go in with this and I will let you know how it goes, okay? I'll be right back with it on. Okay guys, so this is not happening. Like it is not, it's not gliding, it's not anything. I'm not, 
Not really sure what's happening. It goes on kind of fine on my hand, but do you see that? It's like clumping. So I think I'm just gonna switch over and I am going to use my go-to. I'm, I'm gonna try to get some different colored eyeliners though because I really think that I will enjoy them. But right now I'm gonna just go ahead and go in with my Cila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. This is what it looks like here. Ooh, so pretty. It's a felt tip liner. So some people really struggle with the felt tip. Mine is kind of dirty. I do apologize. I like put it all close to you guys. Um, but I really like it. So let me just get it to focus on that. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and use this now. And then I will be back. I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm going to do my mascara. Uh, for the mascara, I like to use uh, both of these. These are both Maybelline uh, mascaras. I really like Maybelline mascaras. I seriously have used them my whole life. I use falsies which is right here. And then I like to use the Rocket. So Rocket Volume, it does take a little bit more persuasion to get it on your actual, uh, what are they, eyelashes. So we're just gonna see how this turns out, guys. I'm sorry if it, this video was a little bit boring. It's because I slowly ran out of caffeine and steam. So we're just gonna see how this goes. Okay, okay. okay I'll be right back. And this is my finished look. Ooh. So honestly, I I can I can probably tell you that I really enjoy this look. I know it's probably like not everybody's favorite, and that is totally fine too. Um, but it is one of my favorite looks. So I like the the blue. It really makes my eyes look brown, which I love whenever my eyes look brown. I know not everybody does, um, but my eyes are naturally green, and sometimes they're blue. So if they can come off looking a little bit brownish, I'm okay with that. Um, the only thing that I didn't like using today was I did not I hated this eyeliner oh so even trying to get it off my hand like I, I swipe my eyeliner on my hand whenever I am um, whenever I'm trying to get it to like get the product off of the eyeliner so it'll work better my other eyeliner came off just fine but then whenever it mixed with that other eyeliner it smeared it doesn't do that guys um, also my my eyeliner my Stila eyeliner I never have a problem with it going on top of other foundations and or like other product or anything and for some reason going over this eyeshadow it struggled girl um, it, it it was it was like more flaky than any of my ex-boyfriends have ever been um, it, it like it it was cracking it was flaking it was clumping up like I had to I had to keep swiping it to get the product off of it so it would go on and so that's why my eyeliner ended up being like way thicker than what I wanted it it still ended up turning out like very nice um, but it's still just like I didn't I didn't want it to be this thick um, the blue on top of my cut crease like it looks really nice However, because my eyes are so dark now, my eyebrows are looking very, very light. So I might end up going over it again with my Maybelline. Um, with my Maybelline, like it's an eyeshadow, but it's like a dark brown eyeshadow. <laughs> Let me get it for you guys. I'm just going to move you guys to the side for a sec. Okay. So I normally go... why okay so I normally go over my eyebrows with a little bit of this it's Maybelline New York I cannot tell you what shade it is because I have had it forever yeah can you see that like <laughs> I've had it for a really long time so I might go over my eyebrows with that um, but overall I mean it was a really good palette and for $7.95 I mean it's very pigment pigmented <laughs> It's very pigmented for one and then I also like how easily it was to be blended I mean it honestly it was pretty easy to blend the only thing that I didn't like is how my eyeliner reacted on top of it but I'm not sure if it's just because my eyeliner felt tip liner is getting old I'm not sure if it would do better with like a gel uh, eyeliner or if it would do better with like a liquid eyeliner I don't know I don't have those on hand I only ever use that one because that's the only one that will stay on my face 
yeah. So if you guys liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and then also subscribe. I will be posting more videos every Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, if I don't post on that exact day, it is because my Wi-Fi is horrible and I am trying to find somewhere to post, like rather the library, McDonald's, uh, work, who knows, right? So we're just gonna try to get through this together, okay? I will go talk to Spectrum or somebody about getting some good wifey in my house, okay, okay. Alrighty guys, I love you and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I really enjoyed doing this makeup with you guys. Thank you, bye! I always feel like I'm like petting and smacking myself whenever I'm putting on primer.